Hello all, now we will proceed with our lesson two. So in, le in this lesson, we are going to learn about series and data frame in pandas. Now, if I talk about series and data frame in pandas, so pandas is a very popular open source library. As you all know, I have introduced you already. Now it has some data structure. So the type of data structure that we have is series and data frame. If we talk about series, so Panda series is one dimensional labeled array. In Panda series, actually, uh, we can have more data types. It can be integers, it can be strings, it can be float, it can be object. Any data type we can have in Panda series. Now, if we talk about the data, then it has a command that pd.series uh, for, uh, you know, Panda series data command. Suppose you have a list and in list you have the components. Uh, that components are the numbers, okay, integers, we call that. So you have a list of carrying numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And now I want the list uh, in Pandas uh, and I want a series. Like, what do you understand by its name? Series means it's uh, actually a sequence from top to bottom. So every data has its index value. I think you all know about it because I told you already that every data has its index value. So now I will proceed to the next part of pandas. That will be panda series. And uh, just I'm going to delete the console i'm sharing my screen with all of you for giving you the example because the lot example you will learn you will see um, you get to know about more with the examples only okay so in this example i'm going to uh, tell you about the series like uh, how this is going to happen uh, so first of all, we have the Panda library already and uh, let me write down the command here. So here I will write the command import pandas as pd. Then I will create my list. So I'm writing down my list is equals to and when you create a list, I will use the square brackets and I will take strings, sorry, integers in the list. Now, I want this list to be there. Uh, so, I will write my series is equals to pd dot series. S will be capital when you write series. Okay, and here you will write your list name that will be my list. Now I want to print my series. So I will write my series means I will call my variable. Now if I run it, You can see that I have the series and you can see the sequence starts from zero because you all know that there is an index. So when I start from number one, it has an index value as zero. Number two has an index value as one. Okay, so that's why it's giving me the result like this way. Now, this is in case of integer means if the numbers are integers, then what will happen? Now, I will give you the example if the uh, list contains strings, right? So, when it is a string, then definitely we cannot write down directly like this way. We will have the double quotation symbol. I'm going to change anything else. I'm just changing uh, the string. So, here I will delete all the data inside. And I will write it down uh, the strings here. So here I will write A inside the double quotation symbol. Then I'll put comma. Then I will write B. Then I'll put comma. Then I'll write C. Then comma. Then D. Then comma. And then E. 
and comma. So basically, this is uh, my string, okay? And this, I call it as my index. Suppose, let me call, let me, I'm just telling you the example, uh, like uh, you can also change your uh, uh, list names, okay? That's why I'm giving you the example. It's my series. Now here, you will write as my list, means whatever your list is, then you will have your index equals to my index. And here you will print about my series. So just give me a minute. So overall, I will start like here as uh, my index. So I will give it a name as my index. And uh, if I run this code, then it give me the result like this. 0, A, 1, B, C, D, E means actually it's giving me the data in form of, uh, you know, uh, strings. Okay, now if I want the data in form of dictionaries, then how I can do that? So for this also, I have one method that help us to give data in form of dictionaries. Suppose uh, like in dictionary, actually uh, we use uh, some curly brackets method. Okay, so for that, uh, like I will write down the program for uh, attendance uh, okay like suppose I have the number of students and uh, I will write down the attendance that how many students will come on Monday how will you st how many students came on Tuesday on Wednesday Thursday kind of so how we can do this so for this uh, I'm just going to change the data so here uh, the import one is fine now here I will write data and this data should be inside the curly brackets when you use dictionaries you will always use curly brackets i think i have told you uh, previously and there is two things uh, one is the key and second is the value so i have a key as uh, monday so here i will do editing that monday and then you will put colon and then you will write the value of it then the next day will be Tuesday. So you will write Tuesday. Then you will write colon. And you will write the value of Tuesday. Now Wednesday. So you will write this colon. And you will write the value of Wednesday. So this I am making in form of dictionaries. I just want <clears throat> to print only this much. And uh, how to print. So I will write uh, the name as uh, my series. That's fine. Or I can take it name as series equals to pd.series. And uh, at place of this, I will print the data. So this will be the data. I can write that data is equals to data. And uh, then I will write name. Like I want name to be separated. So I will write name series from dict. Okay, so I will write series from dict. Okay, because I want that name should come out of the dictionary like this. And here, of course, I will write the series. Now, if I run this code, see, I'll get the data. Name series from dict data type is this. D type is written as this. And this actually giving us uh, the name uh, from the dict so actually it's uh, uh, giving us a result okay and the data I'm printing printing here like Monday is 22 Tuesday 23 Wednesday 23 like this so you can actually use all three methods here in this data structure 
what is happening here like the data is actually uh, the dictionary type and index value is not specified so the key like one mon monday is a key so that key i can label as the index okay so i can uh, label the keys as the index like monday tuesday wednesday and i have the numbers here okay now let's talk about our next type of data structure that will be data frame now what data frame is data frame is a two-dimensional labeled data structure in pandas and it can be read in form of csv file excel files sql database also python dictionaries so i will give you the example of how data frame can create actually it's a uh, you know it's you can make the data in form of table row and columns so that we call the data frames now i'll give you the example how you can create the data frame so just wait let me share my screen again with all of you i think the screen is visible so here i'll just uh, i don't want this console to be here and i will create the data frame here so for creating the data frame what uh, we will do next uh, like i have the example of creating the data frame with the help of uh, dictionaries okay so uh, like uh, it will create a complete frame of data i'll just uh, let you know so of course uh, you will write the basic command for creating the data frame is uh, uh, like import pandas as pd okay uh, let me come and let me start writing down the command so the first command i will write as import pandas as pd and the next command you will be writing down as like, I'll create a data first of all. So I will write data is equals to pd dot data frame. You will write it exactly like this way. Okay, the round bracket and now you will put the curly bracket here. You will make a class key value. So it's class one, okay, like class space one. Then you will put this colon and you will write pd dot series. Then here you will take the square bracket. You will write 22, 33, 38. I will explain you how this is going to happen. Then you will put comma. Means this is my first data where I put my method. Then I put the series of data. Means this is my class one. Class one is, uh, you can say that my first uh, uh, in first row, I'm putting the data uh like this way okay I, i'm making one column with the data of series then uh, i will take index is equals to then i will take the square bracket and i will write math average and i'll come out and here i will write science average I come out and uh, here I will write English average. Okay, I'm writing down in the uh, like in simple format like this way. Okay, English average. And then I will close this bracket like with the round bracket. So uh, with this, I'll put the comma over here. So when I come to the index part, so uh, like here, it will be 
English average and now when you come over here, I want to copy the same command for the next line as well. So I'll just copy this command and I will paste it here. So this is the next line command and it will come like this. So this is your class two that comes like this. Ah, uh, what's wrong? Class one. Oh, achha. it's telling that this is the same class. It should not come. Okay. And let's see with class one and class two what will happen if I run this command. I can see the data frame here. It give me like, achha, I will explain you better way here. Like I'm creating a data frame. That's why I'm giving a command that I'm creating a data frame. I have class one. Class one is my one of uh, the column. And in this class one, pd dot series, I have a series of data like this. Now I will take the index. The index is my rows I'm making. So here I'm making the index maths average, science average, and English average. So I have three index one two, three. Okay. Now for class two, the same series I'm making with here, like, so basically I'm adding class one, class two, class three. Like I can add more classes as more I want to add, like as, uh, columns and I have the row in form of index so this is actually the method of how you can create the data frame you can even create more data frame i have more examples of creating the data frame i'm just uh, like i can take the command and paste it here so that it will be easier for you to understand like uh, if i remove if i remove all this and if I paste this command and if I run this code, then you can see that here I have the data like this. So I have the data, okay? And in this, the data is name, age, city. These are my uh, columns that I have been created and the rows I have uh, like I have no rows, I'm not defining index here. So it takes automatically like one, two, three, four. I'm just adding the data here and it creates the rows for me. So yeah, this is all about the data structure type. So you have learned two type of data structure. One is the series and second is the data frame. So you can practice more so that you can learn about it more. Thank you so much for this tutorial. It's enough. Now let's meet you in the next tutorial.